All right, so we're back with Fallout 4, and we're starting a new mod. It's called, um, I think, Gone Feral. It starts with the slog. And, uh, yeah, you go to the slog, and then you go to this little diner building over here. And you should find a quest. Or, not a quest, a, uh, note. At least that's what the mod says. Turn on a light. Oh, there's a note. You can read your pause and read this. <laughs> yep, just pause and read that. Then we got gone feral. And now uh, we should follow the quest marker, I guess. So yes, uh, last time we did a uh, Fallout mod, it was on PC. We are back on Xbox. I don't know if you could tell or not. Poof, that scared me. I thought it crashed. Just going to ignore the forged. As you know, we don't really need to do battle with them. We need to go towards the quest marker. Which isn't that far. You can actually just run to it. How do I know? Well, I did this mod and it's crashed several times on me, so I've removed some other mods. That might have been interfering with it. Not sure. So sorry if you're a fan, or a lot of, um, wind. I opened a window and I have a fan on. Just to get some airflow in here, you know. There's random ghouls. Now let's let the com my uh, compatriots deal with that. And we're going to go towards the quest mod. <sighs> God dang AP. I hate how AP is tied to sprint. Is there a Mario Lurk? Oh, that blue fly died. That was a raider. Captain Bradley, huh? Well, he's dead. Captain doesn't sound good, you know. Legendary Raider, boosh. Boosh. That's a grenade. Oh no, that was just a Molotov. Still deadly, just, you know. Let's see what that Captain Bradley guy had. You don't have that much. And you, Captain Bradley. Gunner's orders. Huh. Read the gunner order note. Oh, I have a lot of crap. Captain Bailey, you've been green lighted to track down deserter, Dr. Woodwell. I send a company of some ghoul woman here. Too. You can read this. Return to slip. <sighs> Alright, let's quick save. 
violence protocols engaged for what reason? Oh, this charred feral ghoul? He's being taken care of by those, uh, brotherhood. Quick saving. We're gonna do a regular save. Hi. Find anything. Deserting the gunners is suicide. Strange. Well, we should go look for this building they're holed up in. Must be close. The gunners were out in force. The partners now, after all, sure what? Enough. Two smart minds. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Terminal. System warning. Faculty. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Get the key. Alright, get the key. From where? Listening post bravo, alright. Go there, get the key, do whatever the quest says, you know. You probably hear a bird, don't you? I'm sorry. Birds are noisy. Don't get a bird. The parakeet in there just blah 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 blah. So noisy. All birds are. Mm, just that's just birds. Not like the cat or dog. They don't make any noise. Or barely make noise. Uh, too many followers. I don't know if we were supposed to have that guy with us, so. Going down. Yeah. We already have too many, so. And I can't dismiss them, I've tried. Well, I can dismiss uh, Ada, but these two are broken. Val here. And. Sergeant Dornan. He's from Fallout 1 or 2, and you're from a different mod. And that armor's from a different mod. I just thought it fit on the slightly taller person. Elevator script's broken. If it lasts that long, it's broken. Trust me. Elevator scripts get broken all the time when you have too many mods. Like how it went into a load screen, then came back, and then didn't open. Yeah, that that happens.
This mod has proved nothing but trouble. This is the fourth time I've had to restart, basically. And every time, something, like, it's frozen. Like, last time I had, like, 20-some minutes recorded, and it actually froze, like, six times during that. And the load time is just stupidly long for some reason. Oops. Oh, I guess I didn't pick that up. I kind of... I guess burped. I don't know. Come on, game. You want to load, right? Look... It's not- I know it's not loading from the SSD. Points to him, but it says just get the key. Let's go back to listening pros, bravo. And I had this loaded last, so I don't get why all these problems are- problems are happening. So much loading. All right, and we're going to save here. We're gonna wait if this didn't break, you know. We're gonna wait, you know, probably 30 seconds. I'm telling you, the script broke again. Did it? Did it open? Well, the sound stopped. And now we're just trapped in an elevator. Oh, there we go. And you can tell that the uh, script is uh, not working right there. So, it appears the Commonwealth is about to enter a new era of peace thanks to you. Oh yeah, Dance is down here. I hate when there's two quest markers. Oh, rat. Who are you? 
Brotherhood's grabbing it yet. Ad Victorian. Yeah, pause and read that. Legendary Yogg, why didn't drop anything? Script, don't you break. That first time, I know it broke. Second time, good thing I kept on with it. Yeah. yeah I'm not sure what to do. You know? Uh. Kind of tired. We're gonna wait. We'll see if the uh, elevator works or not. I don't think it's going to work. Huh? We're going to wait 10... 20 more seconds and then I got another way to get out of here yep it broke Okay, you're thinking, how am I going to get out of here? Well, this is why you have cheat terminal. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go get the key. Alright, no, we got the key, but here's what you do instead. So we don't have to go through the elevator. Move location. Commonwealth. A. I don't know. Let's just go there. There. Now I don't have to go through the elevator. Which script is busted. Or it's running long. I don't know.
Alright, and now we've got here, so we can go back. I can fast travel here. Always just have cheat terminal on you. It just makes, like, doing videos so much e easier. Like, we'd be stuck without it. Yeah, no way this is loading from the SSD. It'll load. It's gonna take a while. See, like, I thought... If I put it on both, then, you know, I could just select SSD and it would always load from the SSD, but apparently that's not the case. And, um... You know, because the reason I have it on both the internal and the uh, external SSD... Is because I thought, you know, if the SSD were to break, I, I wouldn't want to lose all my saves. Alright, well. There was a bear. Too late. Or Yao Gwai. Eh, whatever you want to call it. Still just a bear. What the? Nope, not injured. No way I could pick this. Um, hey. Hey. Hey there. Need a guard now. I mean, I'm just rotting here. No rot. Don't think. All right. How do we get to the store? Well, we use sheet engine because LP stuff. Oh wait. I have this mod. Hopefully this works. I don't think it's gonna work. Eh, frag grenade might. Oh, yep, there it works. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's a mod that lets you, um... Bust down locked doors. Who are you? You killed the feral patients. Are you with the gunners? Cindy has been very brave. 
think deep down she understands how important my work could be. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm trying to be matter of fact, but I can see that won't work with you. I love a woman. I would do anything for her. And I can't let her mind slip away. I'm experimenting with cures to her disease. I'll steal every day that I can with her. Will you listen? I'm no gunner. I'm a medical specialist for hire. My practice used to be in Diamond City, but this mega surgery center opened up and took my clients. My wife and I looked over all of the options and settled on Good Neighbor as the safest. Good Neighbor. There was no way I was going to let that happen. So I offered my services to the gunners, and they put her up in a facility, round the clock guarding and watchtowers. I was astonished. And when Rebecca told me she felt ill, I told her that safe was better than comfortable. <laughs> I didn't listen. She told me a dozen times, and I never listened. I should have known that there was a radiation leak. I should have known. Yes, and she's barreling towards extreme symptoms and feralism. At least you still have your wife. Cindy has friends and family at the slog that you took her from. What do you need her anyway if you were testing on ferals? I need to test on a sentient subject. I make no apologies for doing what I need to. So Cindy won't make it. But if I can slow the feralism process, it could change the face of the Commonwealth. Save hundreds of families. You have to decide. Let Cindy go, and I can finish my tests. I'll work with you to administer doses to Commonwealth Ferals. I have an applicator here. Or take Cindy. But over my dead body, I won't give up on my wife. We can't do this. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Bah. <laughs> he didn't even pull it. Oh, he did pull his gun. Excuse me. Yes. Is he gone? You got him? I just want to go home. That's not anything of what I picked. I can't thank you enough. I'll tell everyone about you. I'm sure you're welcome anytime. Hopefully the reward will be worth all that effort. Hey there. I'm ready to go. Need to wear in these boots. Sharper than ever. No worries there. What's the quest mod say? It says talk to Sue. Excuse me. Need looking after. All right, Smoothskin. Sure. We did the right thing helping Cindy. I hope you know that. That is the only kind of person I'm comfortable with. Let's get moving, Smoskin. Alright, that was Gone Feral. What was that, 30 minutes? Alright. Took me like six or seven tries to get this fully done, but you know. And for only a 30 minute quest mod. Alright, bye.